Okay, in this video we are going to look at programs to find malware and rootkits on Ubuntu. So, um, the most popular antivirus in, in Linux is uh, ClamAV. So, we will do a app search for Clam or clam. We're going to get a whole bunch back. What we're really interested in is this right here, the clam AV. We're also going to install clam GTK or clam TK. Let's see where that is right here. And that's just a graphical front end so I can show that to you. Um, now if we do the same for rootkit we're going to see uh, a couple. Um, ones we're going to install is Check Rootkit and RK Hunter. So we can install all of these at the same time. We're going to do sudo apt get install clam av and then we put a space clam tk space RK Hunter space chk root Say yes to that. This uh, this is for the mail configuration on RK Hunter. We're just going to keep it as no config. And right now it looks like it's coming through Clam. Okay, and now it's doing the RK Hunter, and we're just about done. Okay, so before we actually start running Clam AV, we need to update its virus definitions, and we do that for the command called fresh clam. Now that'll go out, and I have to do that as sudo. It'll go out and grab the uh, latest virus definitions. It's pretty big, so um, okay, they're they're probably coming pretty quick. It's gonna pause it, but I don't think I'll pause it. I'll let that uh, just go ahead and download. Yeah, there's three files. It's a main CVD, a daily, a daily CVD, and um, the last one is I'm not sure of the name of it. We'll see it in a second. Come down in a second. It's kind of bytecode.cvd is what it is. And that should come down next. There we go. Okay. Now that we've updated our, our, our virus definitions, now we can run the actual scan. So how you do that is with the um, command clam scan and we want to specify a dash r for recursively in the location we want to start at so if you want to scan the entire system you'd start at root directory in our case we're going to start off at home and we're just going to do the cyber patriot directory and all its subdirectories it'll go pretty quick because there's not really a lot there and at the end it will give us a summary of what it found now, as you saw it went through each and every file and it gave an OK next to each and every one of them however um, what we can do is give it a dash I which basically says only show me infected files so here we go here's the summary so it scanned 160, 164 files in 89 directories found zero infected files so if we do that again with that dash I it'll run it'll give us the same summary but this time we won't see all the files fly by okay so there we are all right so according to this we have no viruses in that subdirect in that, that users directories okay so now let us go ahead and run the 
first root kit program, chk root kit. This, just like other things, can be run in a quiet format. In this case, we're running it in a completely verbose format. Now, it does not create a log file. What we could do is we can um, direct this to a file, such as, you know, um, root get results and then it would all pipe it to that uh, but in this case we'll just scroll up so here we do get an indication searching for the suck it rootkit um, this seems to be a false positive every system I've run this on shows that so it appears to be a false positive now if we run this with oops okay root Kit with the queue for quiet all we'll get back is essentially those things that root the chk root kit finds is interesting so again uh, here we got that s bin in it infected we got a couple things about some modules packet sniffer on um, iedh client again these are false positives but this is pretty much how you would run chk rootkit so now let's run on to rk hunter now if you just type in rk hunter it's just going to pull up a bunch of commands in this case you have to tell it to check with a dash c Running it this way does require you to be around and hit the enter key every couple of times, a couple of minutes, because it'll go through sections and then stop waiting for a response from you. Okay, so here we have the results, and it checked 136 files, I had suspected one file, checked for 292 rootkits. Nice thing is it does write to a log file. By doing that, we can search that log file, instead of having to scroll up and look, or look what that potential suspect file is. If we go ahead and grep the dash i being case insensitive for the word warning and var log rk hunter well, gotta run that as sudo we'll see all those areas in the file which we got warnings so um, this again also appears to be a false positive um, pretty much everything in here show our false positives but uh, this kind of shows you how to run RK Hunter and look at the results. So in summary, the programs we worked looked at were Clam AV, in which we did first did a fresh Clam, then we did a Clam scan, and with the Clam scan, we want to say dash R for recursive in the starting directory we want to start at. We ran the check root kit program and we didn't have to give any options to that and we ran the RK Hunter with the dash C for check. So those are three ways to look for malware aka root kits on the system um, for the competition you may get points for just simply running these or installing them or they may actually install some kind of malware um, some there's a ecar eicar which is a test 
malware file which they may load up on there so the clam AV, clam AV should find that and as far as the rootkit is concerned I think maybe just installing one or both of those programs should help you get some points on that if they're scoring that. Hi, right, thanks.